Perpetual motion machine has been studied by human beings for more than 1,000 years. So is there really a perpetual motion machine in reality? Let's look at a ramp device first. We put a magnet at the top of the slope to attract the small iron balls at the bottom of the slope to climb up. When the small iron ball reaches the hole, it will fall into the bottom of the hole. Then it will return to the bottom of the slope. Finally, it will form a circular process. Although this idea sounds very interesting, but eventually the magnetic force of the magnet will attract the iron ball to the top of the slope, make it unable to continue to push even if the iron ball is not absorbed by magnetic force but the magnetism of a magnet it will also weaken with the passage of time eventually lead to stop running so is perpetual motion machine real in reality in fact it is a kind of energy that does not rely on external energy a machine that can move forever as early as 1159 AD, the mathematician Bhaskara conceived a wheel there are many curved mercury reservoirs inside the wheels he thinks that as the wheels turn mercury will flow to the bottom of the pool so that one end of the wheel is slightly heavier than the other. This imbalance of torque makes the wheel rotate forever. However, all the ideas about perpetual motion machines violate the basic laws of thermodynamics. Among them, the first law of thermodynamics. It eliminates that the perpetual motion machine cannot be realized because a machine, at most, it can only produce the same energy as its consumption. It is impossible to have extra energy to drive the machine. What if we don't need this extra energy and just want the machine to keep running on its own? So the inventors try to design a kind of a pot that waters itself automatically they prove the principle of capillary action by theory they think attraction force between liquid and container surface enough for water to be sucked into small pipes so that water circulate around that pot but if the capillary action can be large enough to overcome gravity and lift water into the pipe then capillary action L should also prevent the water from falling back into the pot so all perpetual motion machines need extra energy to push the whole system past the stop point this violates the first law of thermodynamics even if engineers somehow create a perpetual motion machine that does not violate the first law. But according to the second law of thermodynamics, it is still impossible to achieve this. The second law of thermodynamics shows that energy always tends to dissipate in some form. For example, friction. Any real-world machine will have moving parts or interactions with gas and liquid molecules. It will produce tiny friction and heat. This heat is the loss of energy. They will continuously reduce the energy of the system's own motion. Eventually, the machine will inevitably stop. So you think one day, can we make a real perpetual motion machine?